What is going on guys and welcome back to another video today we're going to be comparing blue stacks now you may or may not know what I'm talking about I mean it's pretty obvious what I'm talking about what you guys can see on screen but if you haven't yet seen the previous videos then you are clueless and by the way if you haven't yet seen those videos then go ahead and check out the link which is in the description below that will take you to those videos but just to give you guys a better insight basically this software allows you to play any Android game Game, and even an iPhone game on your desktop so sometimes if you feel you're very restricted and can't actually play games that you really really want to play then this literally is your door like this is the key to the door to just absolutely epicness now that said there are a few different ones that are kind of like similar in terms of what they do I guess you could say emulators right and that is what we're gonna be comparing them to so first of all we got meme you play now meme you plays another one now bear in mind initially what the software is meant to do is make it super easy to just you know make you play games on your desktop that are mobile games now as you can see meme you play first of all in terms of like its face isn't exactly the greatest now this is a very opinionated video okay I'm giving my personal thoughts as to why I recommend blue stack so with meme you you guys can see that it literally kind of gives you like a phone on your screen which isn't exactly what everyone downloads the thing for right because what you want to do is download an emulator so you can actually play the mobile games as opposed to freaking having a phone now on the meme you guide which we will go into it gives you like the tour on how to download games and everything like that now it looks simple but it gets so much more complicated as you guys can see so you have to actually install save a file you gotta save it to a destination folder etc etc and it just pretty much gets kind of annoying at this stage now everything else you can be like for example if you want to go to the Play Store obviously you gotta sign into your account X Y and Z and actually log into the stuff to go there but we will get into that further into the video where I will show you guys what we do but at this stage for example right if you don't know how to use uh, an Android phone like myself as you can see I have no idea how to get out of the screen and back to the home page I mean I feel like I can click every button button right now and I still don't really know what I'm doing so as far as navigation goes this probably makes it a hundred times way harder than it should have ever been in the first place and that is why, again, I really, really do like blue stacks because if we go up to blue stacks, as you can see, it is so easy to navigate. Look at the interface on this thing. Whatever you want is right there. There is no X, Y, and Z on turning my freaking literal computer into an Android phone, essentially. And the layout looks so much nicer and you get so much more variety in what you're searching for. And don't forget, you can actually get rewards on this. Now we're going on to Nox Player, which is the second one. And again, very similar to the previous one I just showed you. It looks cool on the loading screen. I thought I'd give it a try and voila, would you take a look at this. Again, this one and Meme you are more or less exactly the same thing. They try and give you an Android phone. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't really get more complicated than this because when you see everything here, it's like, again, you got the tutorial, the basic features of the Nox player. So as far as like installing a game, a game goes, again, very similar to the layout. Again, save and files etc etc and then you just choose etc etc so it's very very similar to meme you and there's not really anything that's a big pro on this one now if we go into the play games for example on this one here um it will yeah it's gonna ask me to log in so what i'm gonna do is log in and show you guys what happens so once you're logged in you do go onto the google play store and yeah <laughs> again as far as layout goes and you trying to navigate to find things it's not exactly the greatest. I mean, here you got suggestions for you, upcoming games, updated games, but then you got freaking apps in total, and you're really just drifting off into like a whole other dimension at this stage because you're kind of losing yourself and you don't really know what to do. Now, uh, don't forget to play these are games I did download previously on my computer, so it kind of recognizes that. But as far as everything else goes, you navigate into 
essentially categories and you just trying to find new games, it really, really isn't the best thing in my personal opinion. And again, if we go back to blue stacks, you guys can see, look how simple it is. So the bottom, we have the collections and everything. On the top right corner, we've got popular, top gross, and then trending games. And like I said, you do actually get rewards to pick a point. So you can get yourself cool little rewards in the month, in the year, whatever you're really doing. Whereas on Nox, for example, you don't really get that stuff. I mean, they literally just try and make a computer, an Android, and you go from there. Now back to Meme you, as you guys can see, let's load up this thing. You do obviously go back onto your Android phone screen. I'm gonna log back in to the Google Play Store so we can actually see what it does look like. So I'm just gonna log in when it decides to load and here we go. So this one really doesn't give you much choice. I mean, you got your recent games, my games. Uh, you can check a few different things as well. And again, at this stage, if you're trying to find new games and all that stuff, it gets a tad bit confusing. And <laughs> I mean, just trying to really get out of this page really confuses me every time. And again, for someone who doesn't use an Android phone like myself, and probably a lot of people that do download this software, considering obviously you're downloading it to play Android games and iPhone games, it could be vice versa, you really just lose yourself. I mean, here you've got featured popular, popular multiplayer, as you can see, but as far as variety goes and, well, definitely navigation in terms of category, you can't really get anything. I mean, it really is the basic of the basic and trying to filter down your games can be very, very hard, especially when it comes down to just simply trying to find new games to play, which is what everyone likes to do. Whereas when you go into Bluestacks, first of all, you got your help center, which is pretty damn key at this stage, because if you don't know what you're doing, at least you got some help. Second of all, you guys can see you can type in a question here, for example. If, if you're looking for something specific, there's different versions of the blue stack. Now we go back to my apps. Now this is essentially their version of giving you an Android, but look how much better it looks. It's not literally giving you an Android, it's giving you a pretty cool freaking home screen. And obviously you can customize this. You've got your games there, you've got your settings, but it's not something that is just typical really like bang out there flat pretty much and dry I guess you could say. It is so much more in depth and I really really do love the interface of this especially. Again as you guys can see we do have the app center and it's just so easy to navigate and that is pretty much why I personally do recommend Bluestacks. So if you haven't yet downloaded it go ahead and check it out. The link is in the description below but me personally this is my favorite in terms of just browsing like look now I want to see an action game. Look how much variety I actually have on this thing and that is literally as simple as it gets if you want something bang straight to the point that looks really cool blue stacks is the way forward i really really do give this thing a really good review and i say that from my honest opinion hands down if it wasn't cool i wouldn't be making this video if i wouldn't recommend it so that's why i wanted to share this with you guys so go ahead check it out the links in the description below it's gonna wrap up the video here again meme you in terms of interface it just looks boring man but i will see you in the next video until then, have an awesome day and adios amigos.